everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're going to talk a little bit about the Black Friday event because it dropped, as I told you, the 20th of November. So basically, what do we get? Uh, let me explain briefly what it's all about so you understand. You have to buy things to get coupons and with those coupons you can access to kind of really great tanks. Let me show you the tanks you can get. The first one is the Type 62 for 250 coupons. The second one is the M4 Revalorisé for 500 coupons. The third one is the Karen Evan Action 10 for 700 and finally you have the mighty Rhine Metal Scorpion G for 900 coupons. Of course all those tanks are extremely pay to win if you want to get them you will have to spend a lot of money but I'm not here to tell you if it's good or not for you to spend all your savings into the game I don't mind doing it because I'm doing the exact same thing. No here I just want to give you an average overview of what you can expect from this event. The first thing to notice is that you access to this event you have some kind of a little icon there on in your garage so when we click we arrive on that page and as you can see as I already talked about it during my Black Friday leaks video you have the type 62 right there and you have some other cool stuff you can get yourself uh, for example seven days of premiums or even certificates for experience and all that stuff maybe some free boosters as well and credits here uh, nothing really interesting for us except maybe the type 62 and all the the things that are coming after but let's talk a little bit about how to get those coupons it's quite simple i thought legitimately that we would be able to get some coupons through the uh through the regular missions but it seems like it's not the case you only get the the things for the clan no for you to get coupons guys you have to spend your money and oh boy do we have a lot of tanks to spend our money on in the offer tab uh, I'm not going to do a review of all the tanks one by one. I'm just going to tell you which one is worth it considering your playstyle. And doing that, it's going to be easier for you to pick the tanks you want to get. Of course, if your goal is to unlock the Rhine Metal Scorpion G, you will have to buy all those tanks to have 700 coupons or no 900 coupons sorry for the right metal borsig so prepare your wallet because oh boy is it gonna hurt we're gonna start with the tier 6 first the panzer 4s in my opinion that tank is extremely worth it that's one of the best mediums at tier 6 you know what talking about the tank i'm probably going to show what it looks like directly into the game that would be better for you to understand it's basically a tier 6 german tank with a legendary camouflage that makes it look like a tie fighter or, or things like that, but I think it's a TIE Fighter that was for the Star Wars released. There was a collaboration with Wargaming. But anyway, we don't really care about the camo. Now, overall, what makes this tank great is its gun, which has one of the best DPMs at tier 6 for a medium tank. You also have a really, really great uh, mobility. And finally, a big gun mantlet, which will allow you to bounce a couple of shells. To me, this tank is similar to the E50, just for the turret, not for the ramming part. But at least for the turret, you can compare it with the E50, the tier 9 German tank. Now, 1.5k gold for that honestly a great deal it's way better to go for this tank than trying to get yourself uh, i don't know maybe uh, an su 100 y even if the su is a great tank but nah just get that offer the panzer forest is really worth it now the second one the type 64 uh, type 64 one of the few if not the only tier 6 chinese medium tank quite a versatile one uh, it's actually a taiwanese tank so but uh, it, it's still shown as a chinese tank in the garage but who cares now th this tank is not worth it because we have the chromal b in the game and the chromal b is coming uh, way too many times for the type 64 to be effective o honestly this tank is only for collectors i don't say it's a bad tank you know but it's definitely not the kind of tanks you would expect to get a carry from unlike the chromal b now uh, what else do we have uh, fv201 basically a premium version of the black prince so definitely not worth it isu 122s premium version of the isu 152 if you want to have a look at what the isu 122s is capable of just play your regular isu 122 with the last gun so uh, your uh, your su one your is wait i'm gonna recap if you want to have a taste of what the isu 122 
S looks like in game. Just buy yourself the regular Tech Tree SU-152 and equip it with the Tier 8 gun, the last one. Those are the exact same tank. VK-16801P, pretty much one of the worst heavies at Tier 8. You are slow. You don't even have armor because everybody can penetrate through your tracks even when you're angled. This tank is bullshit. Do not buy it. Now, things are getting interesting for all those four tanks. T-34-3. Uh, honestly, T-34-3, if you like the T-34-2, you should like the T-34-3 as well because it's uh, it's overall a better version of the T-34-2 that you see right there. Because on this one, you actually have a little bit of a better gun and link, but also you have yourself a great turret armor, which will allow you to sustain even more on the battlefield on... Uh, on Earl down position, but just make sure that with this tank you are not on elite terrains. If you are, you're gonna get screwed because you only have three degrees of gun depression. Overall, the T34 3 is worth it for you if you are a good player and you're just looking to challenge yourself with tanks that are out of the regular norms Wargaming used us to. Now, T2065, I know it's a tank that a lot of people like and the other one hate it. Personally, I would say that this tank, the first time it was released, I told you it was not worth it because it was in crates. But for 5,000 gold, I would say, why not? Honestly, as long as you manage to get that tank into an all down position, you should be safe. And also, if you manage to show only this part of the tank angled, you should be able to make it work. You have 10 degrees of gun depression. It's worth it if you don't have the T2064. It's an alternative to the T2064. Even if I, uh, in my opinion, the T2064 is a way better tank. So if we have discounts, but we're going to go further into that after for the Black Friday. If you have discounts, on your T2064 right now, you should better buy this one instead of the T2065 because both of them are the same tank, but the T26 E4 actually has a way better mobility. Now, things are getting really interesting. Object 25 to you. Do I really need to tell you that it's worth it? One of the greatest, if not the greatest, heavy tank at tier 8. If you manage to hide that plate here, the lower part of the hull, you are nearly indestructible and you're going to smoke a lot of ass. Trust me on this one. This tank is truly worth it for 5k gold. Out of the list here, if there is one tank I want you to buy, it's the Object 25 to you. <laughs> and a big shout out to everybody that bought the IS-6 offer that was in the game two days ago because it was for 5.5k gold and here you literally have the premium OP broken version of the IS-6 for a cheaper price so congratulations to everyone that bought the IS-6 you are genius now finally for the last one a tank Wargaming is not selling a lot actually or at least that's the impression I have about the tank the Lorraine 40 ton honestly uh, the Lorraine in the current meta is still a good tank, but to be clear with you, if you don't have at least 3k W in 8 or even let's say 1.8k average damage with a total overall tier of around 7, 7.5, you are going to get screwed with the with the low rate. It's impossible to do well with this tank if you are a new player, an average player, or just a player uh, that is above average. You really need to be a pro to play your Lorraine correctly. You don't have any armor, you have an autoloader, therefore you are a support tank, and as you have a lot of mobility, you need to play it like uh, kind of a light style, but in support. I, I don't really know how to explain to you how to really play correctly. I should do a review of, about the tank, probably that I will, but honestly, don't go for this tank if you are a beginner or if you're not sure or comfortable with your actual skill in the game. Now that we talked about that, we need to talk about the E25, a really good reward, the same as the Lorraine, but it's easier to play than the Lorraine. You should have some fun with it. Just make sure to equip it properly to maximize your camo, find a position from which you can snipe shot people and you're set up to have some great games in the E25. It's honestly worth it and it comes with coupons, so hey, why not? Now, those, I know a lot of people are going to think that it's worth it because Wargaming is actually attracting you, telling you, yo, look at the level 10 black box, you have guaranteed 200,050 gold and 500,000 free experience. Yeah, but the odds to get those are less than 0.03%. Basically, if we take 10,000 people, three of them will get to the level 10 box. And don't forget that you have to gamble your way to the level 
10 bucks as you will receive a level one you have only 20 percent drop chance to get to the level two here 20 percent drop chance to get to level three etc etc until you manage to reach the top one which is the level 10 you are going to spend your money for nothing do not fall on this one those are scams if you fall for that you are an idiot and you deserve to be slapped do not buy those shitty crates no you don't buy those shitty crates please all right now the last thing we need to talk about but i'm not sure i didn't check so i'm checking live right now do we have some discounts <laughs> i can check okay uh we're gonna check differently boys as i can check if there are discounts on those tanks i need to check through the the messages do we have something or did they only got ourselves Okay, no, I guess that's the end of the video because there is literally no way for us to get some discounts on buying the regular premium tanks for a cheaper price. Or maybe it is, but I can't see it because I already own all of them. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. We're going to end the video on that. I hope it will help you knowing what you should buy, what you shouldn't buy. Uh, I wanted to do an overall review of the Black Friday before going into detail talking about the tanks. If you enjoy, subscribe, like and share. And I'm gonna see you soon for a new